Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring you the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of November. I bring you the updated payout date information. We have 14 states that have been approved as of this week. We're going to be talking about gas prices that are on the rise, and I also bring you information regarding lower payments in October for it regarding the child tax credit. So stay tuned to ensure that you receive this information. Now, before we get started, if you are interested in the latest news regarding SNAP, PEBT, child tax credit stimulus, and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. And if you're interested in learning how to get cash back from your food stamps or any grocery shopping, make sure you check out this video, how to get cash back from your food stamps. Link will be in the video description. You can also use the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. And don't forget about the $10 once you sign up and upload your first receipt using the referral code that is on the screen. So let's start with the topic of gas prices are on the rise. You may be asking yourself, which city are you talking about? So in California, one town is charging almost $8 a gallon. The average price for a gallon of regular unleaded gasoline is $4.54 in California, which is about $1.16 higher than the national average. That's according to data from AAA. But one bolt station along the Big Sur coast was charging $7.59 a gallon for regular unleaded this week and nearly $8.50 for premium. The Gorda by C Mini Mart, situated along a remote stretch of Highway 1 in Monterey County, warns next gas 40 miles north, 12 miles south. Though the sticker shock at Gorda's pumps ha has garnered national attention, experts say those prices are an anomaly. 99.9% .9 of motorists are not buying gasoline over $5, UC Berkeley energy economist Severin Bornston said. Now, for much of 2020, a year marked by the pandemic, stay-at-home orders and restricted travel crude prices tanked. Last October, a barrel of crude cost just under $35, and this is according to the Energy Information Administration. A year later, crude oil futures are closer to $85, which is an increase of more than 140%. Demand is back. It's been a tough couple of years with the pandemic, Shoup said. Now, with the increased vaccinations, more people want to get out there to share the open roads with friends and family. Experts say there could be some relief Leaf in the coming weeks when service stations in California switch over to their winter blends, which are cheaper to produce. By November, prices could drop about 12 cents, but Shoup said higher butane and crude oil costs will probably make the decrease less significant than in the previous years. So let me know in the comments section down below, what is the average cost for gasoline in your city? Now moving on to the topic of the child tax credit. Why are some payments lower in the month of October? Could this be affecting you? So the October child tax credit payments reached around 36 million taxpayers for a total of $15 billion. Most parents who receive payment by direct deposit should have received the money in their accounts, but there have been reports that people have not been receiving as much as they are supposed to. System glitches and other IRS-related issues have caused delayed or missing payments, and these issues are causing some families to receive different amounts than expected for their October child tax credit credit payments. Now, according to the IRS, some households received too much money in September check, and the IRS is now correcting the issue by issuing lower payments to those households this month. This was a combination of mistakes, with sending to dual parent households as well as a technical glitch. The IRS says that the typical overpayment was $31.25 per child between the ages of 6 and 17 years old, and $37.50 per child for those under 6 years of age. As the money is being taken out of these last three checks, these households are likely to see a $10 to $13 decrease per child in the three remaining monthly payments. 
Now moving on to the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of November. As of right now, we have 14 states that have been approved and here is the payout date information. Also, keep in mind that there are a few states that are no longer providing SNAP emergency allotments and those states are Florida, Idaho, Nevada, Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota, Nebraska, and the state of Arkansas. Now keep in mind that the dates I'm about to provide you with are directly from the USDA website. There is a chance that the payment dates could change, so if you don't receive your payment, I highly recommend for you to contact your local SNAP office. So let's begin with the first state, which is Hawaii, December 13th, Iowa issuing payment between December 1st through December 10th, Kentucky November 2nd through November 19th, the state of Maine is issuing payment on November 10th, Mississippi November 2nd, New Hampshire will be issuing payment on one of the following dates, so that could be November 3rd, November 23rd, December 3rd, or December 17th, New Jersey November 1st through November 5th, North Carolina, November 22nd through the 1st of December. Oregon will be issuing three rounds, first round on November 10th, second round on November 29th, and the third round on December 1st. We also have the state of Pennsylvania issuing payment between November 13th through the 25th and November 30th. Next, we have the state of Rhode Island issuing payment on the 3rd of November, Virginia November 16th, Wisconsin November 20th, Wyoming will be issuing payments based on the first letter of your last name, so A through D November 2nd, E through K November 3rd, L through R November 4th, and S through Z November 5th. Now let's move on to the emergency allotments for the month of October. Keep in mind there are 42 states that have been approved for this month of October. And also let's start with the state of Alaska. Alaska will be issuing payment between November 1st through November 30th. Next we have Alabama October 30th, Arizona October 4th, California will be issuing payment either on November 10th or November 13th. Colorado, October 5th through October 10th, Connecticut, October 14th, Delaware, October 27th, DC's on a regular issuance schedule, Georgia, October 25th through the 28th, Hawaii, November 15th, Illinois, October 20th through the 28th. Next, we have the state of Indiana issuing payment based on the odd days, so October 5th through the October 23rd. Next, we have the state of Indiana, which will be issuing payments on the odd days. That would be between October 5th and October 23rd. Next, we have Iowa, October 1st through October 10th. Kansas, November 15th through November 24th. Kentucky, October 2nd through October 19th. We also have the state of Louisiana, October 9th, October 16th, October 23rd, and October 30th. Maine, October 7th. Maryland, October 1st through October 31st. Massachusetts will be issuing payment on November 2nd. Michigan, October 23rd through November 1st. Minnesota will be issuing payments on one of the following days. That would be November 9th through the 11th, from the 15th through the 18th, the 22nd through the 25th, or the 29th through the 30th. Next, we have Mississippi issuing payment on October 2nd, New Hampshire October 5th, October 9th, November 5th, or November 23rd, New Jersey October 1st through October 5th, New Mexico October 1st through October 31st, New York October 18th through the 22nd, or October 25th through the 29th. We also have the state of North Carolina issuing payment between October 22nd through October 31st. Ohio, October 28th, Oklahoma, October 10th through October 15th. Oregon will be issuing three rounds, round one, October 11th, round two, October 28th, and round three, the 1st of November. Pennsylvania, October 15th through October 28th. Next, we have the state of Rhode Island issuing payment on October 3rd, South Carolina, October 1st through October 19th. 
Tennessee, October 1st through October 20th, Texas, October 4th through October 8th, Utah, October 31st, Vermont, November 12th, Virginia, October 16th, Washington will be on a regular issuing schedule. We also have the state of West Virginia issuing payment on October 6th and a final run on November 10th. Wisconsin, October 16th, and the last date that we have is the state of Wyoming, which will be issuing payments based on the first letter of your last name. So A through D, October 2nd, E through K, October 3rd, L through R, October 4th, and S through Z, October 5th. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notifications button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you next time.